Pratt. Welcome to the Robert Show. Super excited to be here at the, the Deloitte office uh, in Mumbai with Vinay, who looks after the uh, who's a partner, looks after the sales, partner alliances, and much more at Deloitte uh, uh, Southeast Asia. I'm kind of excited to chat about uh, the partnership that Deloitte has with IBM. I know you do a lot of uh, other events too and think 2024 is coming up. Uh, I know there's Coles, which is also coming up. So would love to learn a little about that, about your partnership with IBM. But uh, when I just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what you do sure. at Deloitte. Uh, sure. Thanks. Thanks, Ravit. And thanks and welcome. Uh, to our Deloitte office. Thank a you. pleasure to host you here. Yeah. Uh, my name is Vinay Prabhakar. I am a partner with uh, Deloitte and uh, I run the sales and alliances function for Deloitte South Asia. Um, um, alliances, uh, Ravit, as I was mentioning you know, before the, yeah. when we met, is an important uh, initiative for us. It just redefines how we go to market. Mm. Uh, uh, the leadership in us you know, kind of strongly believe that uh, Alliances and the partnership is a way to fill in a gap that could potentially exist, right, yes. in the marketplace. And I think this collaboration is really helping us redefine the partnership for us. So, uh, and IBM is one of our biggest partners. It all it, the relationship that we share yeah. is, uh, you know, of trust, yeah. um, and and that becomes a very important lever mm. uh, for any successful partnership or an alliance, right, where you are able to trust each other, where you're able to get the best of both uh, coming onto the marketplace and we can offer to our clients. And I think uh, IBM and Deloitte are coming yep. together extremely well in that manner. Yeah, no, I love it. And uh, as you said, you know, obviously bringing in that, filling in that gap is very important when it comes to alliances because yeah. uh, it could you know, help you and the other partners that you all have to get to the ne next level. And at the same time, I know uh, you also mentioned about Coles that you guys do like think 2024 is one thing that's definitely happening from IBM side, but IBM will also be participating at Coles, Absolutely. which is an event uh, organized by you and your team. Yeah. Would you like to tell a little about that too? Sure, sure. Uh, in fact, uh, 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 IBM is going to be one of the biggest, I mean, one of the largest sponsors for us yeah. for that event. That's an annual event that we run, which we call as a design thinking workshop. Nice. Uh, we call it Coles, as, as the name suggests, it's, you know, coming together. Yeah. Right, and we get the best of uh, our our uh, clients, our uh, Deloitte leaders, our alliance partners, and the best of thinking coming together. We pick up some business topics. Yeah. Uh, like uh, last year we had AI, ESG by personas, nice. and uh, you know what does ESG mean to a CEO is totally different from what does ESG mean to a supply chain guy, right? Right. So, uh, so these kind of thinking is something that we are trying to propagate in that event and you know IBM is one of our biggest partners and a super support that we mm. get from them and we're trying to do a similar go to market as well together with them right when we if you look at our partnership with IBM wherever you know we are working together our narrative the narrative that we both create or at least the way we are trying to go to market when it comes to AI when it comes to ESG is around uh, you know my business personas yeah Right, and I I strongly believe that AI as is right would not be uh, uh, is is quite powerful, but unless it has the used case by business functions, right, it's quite limited. Yeah. It becomes all the more powerful if we put in a business angle to that. So you would see, you know, that's where IBM and us come together extremely well with IBM's AI uh, go to market and our ability to kind of bring that business angle to it. Mm. I think we are able to go into the market and talk to a CEO and kind of talk to them about what the, how would AI impact the CEO function versus nice. when we go and talk to a supply chain leader, our ability to go and say, how does AI um, uh, affect a supply chain leader mm. would be totally different. And I think that narrative is what you know IBM and us are trying to do. Love in the it. marketplace. Love it. No, fantastic. Uh, those are really good insights, uh, Vinay, that you've kind of shared. Uh, and uh, yes, I can definitely see a great partnership that uh, Deloitte and IBM has. I'm kind of also curious to learn a little on the AI side. I know when I kind of talk about AI, a lot of enterprise leaders come back to me and tell me, tell us a little about the governance piece as well. 
so how important is implementing an AI governance strategy when planning to embed, uh, embed and scale AI uh, across an enterprise? What, what are your thoughts about it? A great question, uh, Ravit. I mean, if I, if I look at some of the use cases and all the AI that has been adopted today, uh, the art of possible is huge. Hmm? The impact is huge. Yeah. But at least we strongly believe that if if the governance layer is not put in place, then the propensity for uh, some of our customers to get into trouble because of the data, privacy, etc. could be fairly, fairly large, could be very damaging. Hmm. Uh, while it is still being created, the framework has been, you know, we uh, from a Deloitte standpoint, we have something called as a trustworthy AI. Hmm. And that's uh, what we are also trying to kind of propagate along with all the implementations or, you know, the pitch that we're doing along with IBM over there, right? Which is mainly around how trustworthy is the information that you're getting. Right. I think it's all about trust, right? The customer, you have access to customer data, but what you do with it, there is an ethical layer to it as well. Yes. Right. Uh, so, so you know, there are various components that constitute uh, what we call as the governance layer for uh, for the AI. For mm. example, uh, you know, if I try to start with privacy, um, my when when I share my information, uh, right, I am I am sharing that information with an, with a trust that you would only use that much that is needed. True. And not beyond that, yeah. right? Because otherwise, I have no no other way. That's that's the ethical uh, governance layer that you need to Very put true. in, right? Then then we talk about um, um, you know how easy is it? For example, there's a term terminology that we use for that. You know how easy is it for someone to understand what exactly is the technology behind it? Mm. Can a common person understand? not the nuances of technology, but at least what, what is that data being used for? Exactly. At least, yeah. you know, that kind of an openness is, mm. is what is needed. So I guess there are, you know, as rightly said, these are the, uh, this is a very extremely important layer mm. um, that I believe people will start focusing on. Yes. Uh, you know, as we start uh, really digging through the impact of AI in the true sense. Yeah. No, I love it. I, uh, it kind of, you know, is about how responsibly you can use AI. And that's where, you know, obviously IBM and Deloitte kind of works together to yep. make sure where they kind of, clients kind of feel the trust. Absolutely. And uh, you'll take it to the next level. So that, thanks for sharing that. It, also. It's actually in the yeah. in the, in the the website as well. You know, if you look at Deloitte, uh, it's called Trustworthy AI. Hmm. Uh, you, would, you, would, you would actually get a lot of insights on the you know just the the thinking that has gone behind creating this framework and the governance structure and exactly. why is it so important yeah. it's pretty eye good eye opener yeah right? just the propensity of where all it could impact is quite huge 100% if ignored yeah, yeah. no i like it uh, thanks for sharing that and also uh, just a follow up question here in terms of you know the client perspective i'm pretty sure a lot of uh, leaders would also um, I have questions for Deloitte, for IBM, when you all work together, that how 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 are you working with clients to help accelerate their IT uh, modernization uh, and also the projects with greater efficiency? Any thoughts there? Yeah, so, well, IT modernization is a topic that has been there for a long time, what we yeah. call as a digital transformation, correct? And um, I guess, see, there's, you know, there is one... Uh, mantra that we follow is, or at least this is what I kind of tell all my clients and customers, is that when you are going through a digital transformation or, you know, the IT transformation, it is an opportunity for you to keep it very simple. Yeah. Right? With the advancement of technology, uh, I think we have the wherewithal right now to relook at how we conduct a business. Yeah. Uh, how do we run our processes? These have been there, you know, since, since the inception, you have been doing bandages across for your current processes mm. and the technologies. It's a, it's a complete, what you call, an, you know, spaghetti of technology that has happened. Yeah. And you want to unravel it and modernize it. It's a great opportunity. So what companies earlier were trying to do was just to do, you know, just move them onto the cloud, mm. right? And it only gives you this much amount of incremental value. It's the same old thing that you're, same old process that you're trying to modernize it yeah. using different technology. However, if we were to relook at how we conduct our business, how we run the current process, and redefine it 
that just gives us an opportunity to simplify our business process then right. that lead and the simplification leads to good data good data leads to good insight good insight leads to good ai good ai leads to good gen ai so on and so forth oh, right the it. benefits yeah. are amazing it's it's like a road map as well it right? is a road map uh, right you need to uh, like when you know you are ai gen ai it's like uh, you always start feeling that oh why is someone not talking about the data quality that goes into it absolutely uh, to make it more richer or to make, you know productionize it with uh, 100% efficiency yeah. so uh, it's good to hear that you all already have all those kind of road maps in place so thanks for sharing that uh, also when there I is there is a in fact yeah. sorry sorry to no, interrupt go ahead, please. Uh, so there is a you know terminology that we use in deloitte called as hallucination mm -hmm. right i mean uh, do not how much of that data is actually hallucinated versus how much of insights from ai is hallucinated versus what is actually the real insight the real right i mean yeah. for example when when we look at ai we look at depend a lot on the external data the internal data etc mm. now if the dependency on the external data is so large then you tend to hallucinate certain results mm. which 100%. possibly is or might might or might not be true so i guess it's quite so important to have the data governance structure as well exactly so that you have real right data coming through and you can be sure of you know obviously the clients if they're using it they'll kind of feel a shot that okay this kind of makes sense we have ai uh, even absolutely. if it's a chatbot they want it to be 100% it's 100% sure yeah absolutely so that's awesome i have one uh, last question for you vinay and that is about the deloitte and ibm partnership yeah what's next what's coming up uh, what can we expect from think 2024 anything that you would like to share i know there will be a few announcements that will ha happen at think 2024 and you would like to keep it for that but uh, anything else that you would like to share around the partnership with ibm so well you know as i said our partnership with ibm right from global and in you know, within india is 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 you know significantly large it's a very important partnership for us yep. the sponsorship is at the highest level we have sandeep we have romal we have debu who is our chief growth officer who has sponsors for this yeah uh, uh, and and that's the level of what we call uh, oversight you have for this partnership and one of the things that uh, in fact we recently did and ibm is going to be working along with us uh, is we have a lab that we have opened called as a uh, uh, the dcit what that we call it let's say innovation uh, a lab nice. where we are able to co-create and i think that's where as i said the trust between ibm and us comes in uh, where we are saying co-creation hmm. and co-creation can happen only if you are able to trust somebody saying that you know this individual or this partnership will really yield something better Very nice. and 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 that co-creation is what is going to happen in that lab Mm -hmm. where we are going to get the best of ibm and us coming in today if you look at it we work in the area of cyber security right um, i think we've done really really well we work in the area of uh, what we call the maximo their asset management i think some super use cases and uh, opportunities that we are seeing nice we are working very i think we have a solution globally and we are trying to we are also looking to get that into india is a solution on esg which is completely built on the ibm platform Right. and i think that's been implemented in many many clients within india and globally as well uh and then of course the next step that we want to take is the you know already taken it and we're going to progress more is the ai part of it hmm. yeah with the bots and etc coming in i yeah. think that's basically what we will start focusing on i can't wait and yeah, I, yeah me too and as i said that persona based approach is what we will still dwell on and hmm. then you know in the lab we might be we will be creating those use cases now it uh can't wait to you know obviously see all the innovations coming to life and you all are already working closely you all yep. already work on a lot of pilot programs where you all have implemented these already but uh, you all just wait for more use cases to come out sure. that you would like to share with the world but i can't wait to obviously meet the deloitte team ibm team at the think 2024 mumbai and definitely looking forward to call us yeah um, hopefully i should see you there yes for <laughs> sure uh, but uh, great things that you all have been doing and uh, one more last question and promise this one's last one for our audience if they want to reach out to you to your team sure. where can they do that uh, So, so I'm on my email is Vinay Prabhakar at Deloitte dot com. Okay. And uh, so that's where you know, please drop me a note and love to interact and chat with you yeah. on the art of possible. 
and and maybe linkedin as well if you yeah yeah so vinay prabhakar uh, deloitte on is the linkedin on linkedin yeah. as well yeah awesome this, all right this is great vinay thanks Thank for uh, visiting the ravit show and thanks for hosting us 